What is up guys, it's Awana Turtle. Today we are starting a fresh box of Unbroken Bonds. This set is amazing. Loving all the cards. We're still chasing some of the big hits. Um, we did get our mucks, which I'm happy about. I do want the special art. I do want the ones with them getting stuck in the sewer. And uh, so on our on our checklist, we still have the Charizard Reshiram, Lucario Melmetal, and the Marsh Auto my champ, but I'm okay not getting that one. Okay not getting the Persian. And I feel like we got most of the other ones. Could be that I'm missing. Let me just take a look at the box, see if there's any clues. One thing that's been great has been we've been getting a lot of the Gardevoir Sylveon. We have many of those, which I'm happy about. Still don't have the Hyper Rare or the Alternate Art. So that will probably be on our next to-do list. And uh, oh, you know what? Let me grab a Burning Shadows I've been forgetting lately. All right, we're recording this guy right here just so we don't forget. But let's get into someone Broken Bonds. That is the newest set. And I feel like this one's a big hit. Like I feel like Team Up was a success and now this one is a great way to follow it up. Um, so far our luck has been okay. Definitely um, a little lackluster on the Seeker Rare slot. A little skimpy. No, not crazy about how it's been going, not gonna lie. This this art, guys. Alright, for our first pack, we have a Lowland Diglett, followed by a GX right off the bat. Nice. Uh, it is Venomoth, though, so <laughs> Venomoth is just okay. I feel like this is one Pokemon that never really got a lot of love. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever heard anyone say, Oh, you know what? My favorite Pokemon is Venomoth. That moth that does a lot of poison stuff. Like, compared to like Butterfree, I feel like Butterfree was always set up to be just a much more likable Pokemon. Even compared to like, uh, Venomoth often gets compared to, I feel like, um, Beedrill. But even Beedrill at least looks a lot cooler. <laughs> So, a Green's Exploration, this is actually a really good card. Squirtle, Tentacool, Aram, Santru, a Ghastly, Togepi, and then a Haunter. Wow, that is an awesome looking Haunter. Haunter, Gengar! <laughs> I'm a brain fart. Uh, yeah, Gengar is one that I feel like always has the best arts. Probably be. I mean, it's hard to beat Charizard, but maybe that's just because there's always so much hype around him. Uh, but then I feel like Gengar must be up there, along with Mewtwo, um, and then all the other legendaries. But for something that's not a legendary, yeah, Gengar always gets really cool art. Poliwhirl, I love this one, and especially like how it goes to like the Poliwrath, where he's like, Oh, look, I'm about to do a belly flop, and then, and then he evolves into Poliwrath and he's in the water. Sandrew, it's like, that's how he evolved, by... By jumping, he just had to take the leap of faith. Mistrevious, Samson Oak. Did I ever read this card? Draw two cards. Oh yeah, that's a weird card. And then a regular Venomoth. Let's see what this one does. Assassination Flight. You can use this attack only to act as Pokemon is affected by a special condition. This attack does 90 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's very strange. And then Poison Powder, 30 damage. Poison now po Pokemon is now poisoned. Why does he need to be affected by something before you can use Assassin Flight? Very strange. Alright, let's go to that Burning Shadows pack and lurking in the background. Still hunting for a Rainbow Rare Charizard that we want to pull on, on camera. Excuse me if you can hear me sniffling. I'm not sure if it's allergies or a cold. Escape Rope, Soul Rock, Rabambi, Meowth, Magikarp. A Krogunk, Pikachu, Panseer, a Rhydon, and then Electrovire. The search continues. But back to burning unbroken bonds. Pardon that quick interruption. Now back to your regular scheduled program in unbroken bonds. Alright, so let's look for that. Something better than a GX, maybe a full art. Definitely hoping. Still have yet to pull like a Rainbow Rare. So, would love to get one of those. A Wooper, Darumaka, and then a, a Raichu. Raichu don't feel like is that good. All 
Alright, as always, if you do want to support the channel, definitely just hit that like button down below. And if you're not subbed, uh, hit that sub button. What are you waiting for? We do Pokemon videos every single day, uh, as well as branching out into different things like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic. Um, considering moving that one off to its own channel, uh, we'll probably do that at some point. Um, Alright, I do like this art of Pikachu. I wonder what the story is like. He's on like a boat. Is it like the SSN or something? Alright. Metal Core Barrier. This card is so cool. I want to see this in action. I, I wonder if it's just waiting for a really strong steel type um, to go with it. I'm not sure if the Lucario Melmetal is good enough and the Feramosa um, Buzzle. I think it's Grass. That's actually, oh, that's the one I was forgetting about. That, that's a interesting. I like the art. I don't like the card. Furo. Graveler. Metal Core Barrier again, Doe Duo, Rhyhorn, Meltan, Spiro, Lickitung, a Murkrow for the reverse. Oh, is this the set with Hunchcrow in it? I don't really want to see a Hunchcrow. Per Ugly. Alright, past that halfway mark. All right, we got Grass Energy, Stealthy Hood, Chat It, Electromagnetic Radar, Clefairy, Seal, Gligar, Mistrevious, Glam Meow, a Porygon Reverse, always a fan of Porygon, and then not always a fan of Sharpedo. I always think of that Sharknado movie whenever I see him. All right, things have been slowed down since our first pack in the opening where we did pull a GX right off the bat. Uh, we do have to pick it back up. We still have three more packs after this one, so we just still have some fuel. But uh, yeah, let's we're about due for our next hit. Dodrio, Metapod, Pikachu on the boat again. Grubbin, Ghastly, Gligar, a Spritzy. This looks like a um, shy guy. A Malamar chilling on the beach, and then a Miss Magius, the suicidal ghost. All right, psychic energy, triple acceleration energy. Always nice to see that. Fairy charm, Tyrogue, Caterpie, Cottony, a Ekans, Carvana, a Litten. Oh, so happy I pulled this one. This guy is so cute. I remember when I pulled the Japanese one, I really, this guy is so silly. But this one, hmm, he looks so happy. It's like me. I love <laughs> when you're just like sleeping and have a good nap going on and you just feel so good, so relaxed. I'm sure, in a way, Snorlax is everyone's spirit Pokemon in that regard. Eradicate. LT Surge's strategy, Samson Oak, Caterpie, Clefairy, Poliwag, Ekans, Drowsy, that's a funny art, a Fairy Charm Electric type, and then, oh man, Cold Streak continues. Alright, let's get this Charizard Reshiram, huh? That would pick things back up for sure. I feel like... Uh, previous sets, you kind of like get like six hits in a box. Um, this one I feel like is so far for myself has been like five, which I'm not crazy about. I'm hoping I've just been getting unlucky and that my luck will turn. But uh, so far it hasn't been happening. We got a Cleef Fairy for the reverse, and then a Fabulous Hair Doug Trio. But uh, yeah, that's not that's not fabulous enough. We'll see if we can't clutch up and do hit something in our last pack. We have a Machamp Marshadow pack art. Alright, this is our last chance, guys. Let's see. Fairy Energy. Malane. Giovanni's Exile. Dark Stone. Growlithe. Cubone. Riolu. Porygon. Inkay. Our reverse is a Laron, and then for our last pack in the opening, we have Porygon Z. I've never seen this guy yet. Looks like he's trying to, he's either trying to swim back, like a elementary backstroke, or he's trying to fly. I'm not sure. Crazy McCode. 
As often as you'd like before, during your turn, you may attach a special energy card from your hand to- What? Wait a minute. You may attach special energy cards as many times as you like? Wait a minute, that's crazy. Does this guy need to be your active? Sometimes I'm not sure if they need to be active. If not, I feel like that's crazy for some of the things that have like really high energy costs. And then you have like the triple energy thing. Uh, and then you have all those GX abilities that you require a lot of energy on them. Hmm, maybe that's how you do it. Uh, so I didn't realize that that card... Wow, sorry about that. Uh, that this ability existed. That's very interesting. I'm wondering... I haven't heard of it about any. Like I do watch some channels that they actually play competitively on PTCGO. Uh, so I haven't seen it, but I wonder if this guy's a hidden gem. Could be. Uh, but that's all we have for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. As always, if you do want to support the channel, simply hit hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, leave a comment down below for me. Uh, other than that, guys, that's all we have for today. I'm Wanna Turtle, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.